Let's look at the example 6. A continuous random variable x has probability density function fx is equal to 1 over 4 times 4 minus x for x between 1 and 3 inclusively. For a, we need to sketch the graph of f and verify that it satisfies the condition of a probability density function. b, we need to find the probability of x less than 2. Let's start with sketching a graph with limit 1 and 3. When x is equal to 1, f of 1 is 3 over 4. Shade in the point when x is 1 y is 3 over 4. When x is equal to 3, f of 3 is 1 over 4. Shade in the point when x is 3 y is 1 over 4. So connect these two points by sketching a straight line. If we want to verify that f is satisfies the condition of a probability density function, it must be fx is always greater and equal to zero and the integral of fx from minus infinity to positive infinity is one. From the graph, we can clearly see that the graph is above the x-axis, which means the output of the graph is greater than zero for any input of x between 1 and 3. So now we need to check whether the total area under the curve is 1. Integrate 1 over 4 times 4 minus x with limit 1 and 3. Since the area under the curve is 1, we can say that f is a probability density function. Let's look at question in B. We want to find the probability of x less than 2. By using graph, we can see that 2 is between 1 and 3. Since the questions wants to find the probability of x is less than 2, means we want to find area under the curve between 1 and 2. So integrate 1 over 4 times 4 minus x with limit 1 and 2. Here we can see that the area under the curve between 1 and 2 is 5 over 8. 